Hello everyone, Fuad's here, and welcome to our final episode of the Ramadan mini-series. In this episode, we are going to shed light on the fundamental factors that must be carried with you once the fasting month is over. In addition, we are going to share some important information to keep in mind throughout summer. That being said, let's begin. Factor number one, how to scale up your training. Now that you are reaching the final days of Ramadan, it's important to scale up your training and start incorporating high intensity interval training sessions. You can start by following a simple 1-1 ratio as a start, where you work out for 1 minute and you rest for another, for a total of 8-10 to 10 rounds, completing 16-20 to 20 minutes in total. Factor number 2. A healthy digestive system To maintain a healthy digestive system, fibers should not be overlooked. Fibers are found in vegetables, fruits and whole grains. Whenever possible, place vegetables with each meal, and snack on fruits. Do not peel the skin of a fruit. Peels are rich in fibers, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, making them one of the nutritious parts of a plant. Fact number three, midday naps. Start skipping your midday naps. We are drawing closer to an end of fasting, which means you will be back to eating regularly and working in full condition. So reducing the amount of naps during midday will regulate your sleep rhythm. Factor number four, cheating. If you are still cheating with bad behavior such as smoking, I suggest you stop that now and consider your own health and those around you. It's important to remind you that we have recently learned that people who have cardiorespiratory problems and or diabetes problems are vulnerable against COVID-19. That being highlighted, I suggest you reconsider your smoking habits. Random fact about watermelon. Watermelon contains citrulline, an amino acid that may increase the level of nitric oxide in your body, which helps blood vessels dilate. Watermelon is also rich in many vitamins and minerals, such as vitamins A, B6 and C, in addition to magnesium and potassium. So briefly, snacking on a watermelon piece will hydrate you and benefit you from its massive resources. Factor number 5. The golden rules to follow post Ramadan. Always hydrate yourself. Pay attention to your meal portion, exercise daily for it benefits you holistically, and get a good night rest. Rest is the MVP of the body-mind relationship. Factor number 6. Binging. Do not binge in 8 days. Do not overeat at each gathering. Make sure to eat in a micro portion the sweets that's gonna be offered. The high caloric, high sugary pastries will add to your total daily caloric intake without you even noticing. Although it may not reverse the positive effects of fasting, yet it will cause you an energy crash and you will feel sleepy. Now that we have come to an end, let me just highlight an important reminder to all the fitness enthusiasts. Regarding weight loss, bulking or performance plans post Ramadan, I would suggest you start with now. Where are you now? What is your level of conditioning and what data does your BCA gives us? And what is your ultimate goal? A great step is to get yourself checked through Athman system detailed analysis and athleticism tests. Once that is done, we can put you on a guided plan and track your process. I would like to thank you personally for following up in our Ramadan mini-series. It was a blessing to work on this and I hope you have benefited from the information we shared and always remember, when all is said and done, one system to rule them all, a system you can trust, Alfman system.